Okay, hey again everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Remake Real Survival Mode. Um, again, I'm sorry for the audio and, um, well, no, I'm not sorry, um, I'm sorry for the, um, my recording, the recording that I do, I'm sorry for not being in sync with the game and the sound, but I think this video and on should be in sync, I'm 100% sure this time, I'm sorry for the last parts, but this one should be fully in sync with my voice and with the game. Yeah, I can only pray that that it's true. Because it's really annoying when it's not in sync. Yeah, hopefully it will will be this time. But you never know. I mean, I don't know what else I can do to fix it. I'm gonna try to just separate all every part in ten minutes, so yeah. Okay, well, let's see, where did we leave? Oh yeah, we just got an armor key and we've done some stuff. And we got a dagger near forest or whatever. Um, and we might as well put this up. Uh, keep that in there. We need the fuel canteen. Okay, and then let's just head out. Okay, where we're gonna go next is um I'm gonna go try this door over here and see what see what we can find over here. Yes. It's lost an armor, key, whatever thing. Okay, this hallway. Okay. We need to go um not in there right now. Sorry. We need to go over here. Okay, what we're going to do in here is, we're going to need to burn this body right here. So, use the fuel canteen. Because he's going to get up later if we don't, so let's just burn him now. Bye-bye. Okay, then there's some hanging bullets here. We definitely need those, because we really, we just have one more bullet. And we get a file right here. So you guys can just kind of pause and read it if you want. Unless you've played the game before and you don't feel like reading it, but whatever. This is a pretty long file, actually. It's because it's someone's diary. Someone that used to work here. Okay. Then once you read that file and try to check in the closet, because now it's not moving anymore. Check it. And a zombie's going to come out. Which I'm going to try to dodge, but I don't know how successful this is going to be. You take the old key. Yes. Get off me. Oh, great. I'm hurt now. Dumb creature. Okay, well, get out of here. Okay, um, next we need to go back and get that blue jewel, you unlocked, okay, we need to go get that blue jewel that we left back in the dining room, from that statue or whatever, we need to go, we need to go get that because we can do something now, oh yeah, we killed zombie in here, that's good, um, it's over here, yes, pick it up, Chris. Yes, we want the blue gemstone, blue or whatever. Same thing to me. Okay, now we just need to go back to that um, hallway. Okay, so through here. Okay, now we're going to go through that door that um, I was saying we didn't need to go through right the second at the moment or whatever, but. Now we're going to actually go in here because we can, this is where we're going to use the blue gemstone at. <laughs> so you check this little inscription. There's an inscription here. Tiger glowing with blue and yellow light. Okay, so we already have one of the lights, the blue gemstone, so we put that in one of its eyes.
and voila, thing open, and there's some shotgun shells. Quickly grab them. Yes, we need all the ammo we can get, especially since we're in real survival mode. By the way, on my title, when it says let's play Resident Evil RSM, that stands for real survival mode. The people out there that didn't know, I just thought I would shorten it because it's kind of annoying having to always type in real survival mode, so I just shortened it. Just thought I would let you guys know, if you didn't know already. Okay. Well, now we have a full inventory, so we need to get back to the safe room and put some stuff up in our item box. Oh, I also need some health, I forgot. I'm gonna go get some from the little herb farm or whatever. Right out on the um, balcony where those little, that pot of, that plant pot with green herbs, and I'm going to use that to heal again. <laughs> I told you, it's very useful. Yes, use it. There we go, treated our wounds. Now we're completely on fine, so that healed us all the way. Now let's go back to our um, save room and put some stuff up in the item box. I'm gonna kill all the zombies in here because they're really annoying. Having to run past that one zombie that's down here constantly gets kind of boring. Okay, and let's see. We need to let's open this up. Okay, we need to put. Eh, we don't really need the fuel canteen right now. Shotgun. We can put shotgun shells up. Let's see what else we got. We got all of our health in here, our ink, our ink ribbon. Don't need any of that right now. Shotgun and shotgun shells. We're gonna, we, we're fine without that right now. Mask without all. We don't need that until way later. Fuel canteen. Um, that's what I'm thinking about keeping, taking with me or keeping in here. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think where we gotta go next. Uh. I think I'll just keep it in there. Just for now, at least. Okay, so... Next, we need to get to the... Opposite end of the mansion. We're on the left side, we need to get all the way to the right right now. So, to do that, we're gonna take this way. Reason being is because I'm gonna open one of the armor key door or whatever. It's in the hall. Um, not this hallway. But the hallway in this hallway right here. When we go through this door. <laughs> I'm just gonna open it up to get that door out of our way. Oops. Wrong way. This way. Okay, so open this up. You use the armor key. We're not gonna go in there right now. I was just opening it up. We will go in there later. Right now we need to head back to the, we need to get all the way to the right side of the mansion now. We're going to go start opening some of the armor doors or whatever on that side of the mansion. Because we've done all we can on this side, for now at least. So we're going to have to go search the other side. up here. And let's see. Have we opened this door? I'm not sure. Oh, we have. Okay, well, we might as well go in here, I guess. 